back to the seafront where the changes have certainly been controversial. By 2010 the traditional multicoloured festoon lighting which for more than 60 years had defined the nighttime border of Weymouth Bay had become tired and neglected. very expensive to maintain, but instead of opting to replace this with 21st century coloured LED lights as many other resorts have done, the council decided to install what's proved to be a highly provocative laser display. They called it veils of light, shafts of intense green light projected onto the sea from tall columns at intervals along the esplanade. Unfortunately, in most conditions, it is difficult to see the laser beams from the promenade. You can judge for yourself. <laughs> the displays are seen to best advantage from the pavilion pier, where the constantly changing patterns make an interesting spectacle. The big question is, does this do anything at all to enhance the esplanade? The green arrays would be equally at home in any situation, irrespective of whether or not they had a fine Georgian seafront as a backdrop. The half million pounds or so spent on the lasers would have more than paid for multicoloured strings of new state-of-the-art pinpoint LED festoons which would once again highlight the sweep of the bay from all angles while saving 95% less electricity than the old system. Another feature of the £600,000 lighting changes to the Esplanade was the upgrading of the street lighting. Discreetly mounted floodlights, which actually won an award in the 1970s, were replaced by more modern lamps, giving a wash of bright white light, which some regard as way over the top in terms of intensity, not to mention the additional lamp columns needed to support them. The new street lights do tend to cause a bright glare which incidentally spills too much light into your face and it tends to dominate the nighttime scene of this fascinating and historic seafront. Enough of the controversy, the beautifully restored Edwardian shelters, the King's statue and the centrepiece, the Jubilee clock, add their elegance to what is still one of England's finest seaside esplanades. <laughs>